Hi there, we're back with another video and as you can see I was already working on another Halloween themed sculpt. Uh, it's Bob the Shrinker from uh, Beetlejuice. And in today's video I wanted to briefly talk about how to create and load template projects and objects into ShapeLab and how to set brush presets to your liking and show a quick example of uh, using template objects effectively. First of all, I think it's really useful to experiment with the brush settings in a base project. Try different things out on a starting sphere to get a feel for the variety of tools and understand the full range of each tool's capabilities. It's easy to stick to two free solid features throughout the process, but that might not always serve you the best. With a deeper understanding of the modifiers and functions, you can speed up your workflow and a lot of new possibilities will open up. For example, the clay tool is pretty common in other software, where you usually create stripes on the surface, gradually building up the shape. However, in ShapeLab, if you play around with the modifiers, you can get much more variety out of one tool, like utilizing the 3D shape option. If you have a certain sculpting style or a specific way of creating objects, like one style for rocks and another one for faces, you can set up a project with your tools configured just the way you like it, then delete the starting sphere and save the project as something like face sculpting preset. Just make sure that whenever you open a preset project, the first thing you do is save a new copy. You can also fill your project with template objects, either from ShapeLab's template directory or the ones you've created previously. If you find any useful base objects online, you can import those too. Just be mindful of any potential copyright issues. One example of where I frequently reuse a template is when I want to create a post character or adjust a body part. Instead of sculpting from scratch every time, I just import a copy of the human body, cut out the part I need, place it and modify it. It's a lot quicker this way than creating each piece from scratch. If you don't want to use the templates we provide, you can always download one from a 3D library. Just be cautious of any copyright issues. If there's a part of your model that you really like and want to reuse later on, you can export just that selected object and save a copy in the templates folder. While we don't currently have a custom stamp option, there is a workaround if you really need that. You can import the custom shape that you want to use, quickly copy multiple instances of it, place the item where you need it, and then use union or subtract boolean operation uh, with the main object to get the desired effect. So I guess that's it for now, and have a lovely rest of your week, and happy sculpting! Bye bye!